The mineral pyrite, or iron pyrite, also known as fool's gold, is an iron sulfide with the chemical formula iron 4 sulfide iron 2 disulfide. Pyrite is considered the most common of the sulfide minerals. Pyrite's metallic luster and pale brass yellow hue give it a superficial resemblance to gold, hence the well-known nickname of fool. S. Gold. The color has also led to the nicknames Brass, Brazil, and Brazil, primarily used to refer to pyrite found in coal. The name pyrite is derived from the Greek pyrites, pyrites, of fire, or in fire, in turn from pyre, pyr, fire. In ancient Roman times, this name was applied to several types of stone that would create sparks when struck against steel. Pliny the Elder described one of them as being brassy, almost certainly a reference to what we now call pyrite. By Georgius Agricola's time, c. 1550, the term had become a generic term for all of the sulfide minerals. Pyrite is usually found associated with other sulfides or oxides in quartz veins, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock, as well as in coal beds and as a replacement mineral in fossils, but has also been identified in the sclerites of scaly foot gastropods. Despite being nicknamed fool's gold, pyrite is sometimes found in association with small quantities of gold. Gold and arsenic occur as a coupled substitution in the pyrite structure. In the Carlin type gold deposits, arsenian pyrite contains up to 0.37% gold by weight. Uses Pyrite enjoyed brief popularity in the 16th and 17th centuries as a source of ignition in early firearms, most notably the wheel lock, where the cock held a lump of pyrite against a circular file to strike the sparks needed to fire the gun. Pyrite has been used since classical times to manufacture copperas, that is, iron, too, sulfate. Iron pyrite was heaped up and allowed to weather, an example of an early form of heap leaching. The acidic runoff from the heap was then boiled with iron to produce iron sulfate. In the 15th century, new methods of such leaching began to replace the burning of sulfur as a source of sulfuric acid. By the 19th century, it had become the dominant method. Pyrite remains in commercial use for the production of sulfur dioxide, for use in such applications as the paper industry, and in the manufacture of sulfuric acid. Thermal decomposition of pyrite into Fe's iron II, sulfide and elemental sulfur starts at 540 degrees Celsius, at around 700 degrees Celsius PS2 is about 1 atmosphere. A newer commercial use for pyrite is as the cathode material in Energizer brand non-rechargeable lithium batteries. Pyrite is a semiconductor material with a band gap of 0.95 electron volts. During the early years of the 20th century, pyrite was used as a mineral detector in radio receivers, and is still used by crystal radio hobbyists. Until the vacuum tube matured, the crystal detector was the most sensitive and dependable detector available, with considerable variation between mineral types and even individual samples within a particular type of mineral. Pyrite detectors occupied a midway point between galena detectors and the more mechanically complicated perikin mineral pairs. Pyrite detectors can be as sensitive as a modern 1N34A germanium diode detector. Pyrite has been proposed as an abundant, inexpensive material in low cost photovoltaic solar panels. Synthetic iron sulfide was used with copper sulfide to create the photovoltaic material. Pyrite is used to make marcasite jewelry. Marcasite jewelry, made from small faceted pieces of pyrite, often set in silver, was known since ancient times and was popular in the Victorian era. At the time when the term became common in jewelry making, marcasite referred to all iron sulfides including pyrite, and not to the orthorhombic iron 4 sulfide mineral marcasite which is lighter in color, brittle and chemically unstable, and thus not suitable for jewelry making. Marcasite jewelry does not actually contain the mineral marcasite. China represents the main importing country with an import of around 376,000 tons, which resulted at 45% of total global imports. China is also the fastest growing in terms of the unroasted iron pyrites imports, with a CAGR of plus 27.8% from 2007 to 2016. In value terms, China $47 million constitutes the largest market for imported unroasted iron pyrites worldwide, making up 65% of global imports. 
formal oxidation states for pyrite, marcasite, and arsenopyrite from the perspective of classical inorganic chemistry, which assigns formal oxidation states to each atom, pyrite is probably best described as Fe2 plus S22 minus. This formalism recognizes that the sulfur atoms in pyrite occur in pairs with clear SS bonds. These persulfide units can be viewed as derived from hydrogen disulfide, H2S2. Thus pyrite would be more descriptively called iron persulfide, not iron disulfide. In contrast, molybdenite, MOS2, features isolated sulfide, S2- centers and the oxidation state of molybdenum is MO4+. The mineral arsenopyrite has the formula FAS. Whereas pyrite has S2 subunits, arsenopyrite has AS units, formally derived from deprotonation of H2 ash. Analysis of classical oxidation states would recommend the description of arsenopyrite as Fe3 plus AS3 minus. Crystallography iron pyrite iron 4 sulfide represents the prototype compound of the crystallographic pyrite structure. The structure is simple cubic and was among the first crystal structures solved by X ray diffraction. It belongs to the crystallographic space group Pa3 and is denoted by the Strukturberich notation C2. Under thermodynamic standard conditions the lattice constant of displaystyle A of stoichiometric iron pyrite iron 4 sulfide amounts to 541.87 pm. The unit cell is composed of a Fe face centered cubic sublattice into which the S ions are embedded. The pyrite structure is also used by other compounds MX2 of transition metals M and calcogens X equals O, S, S, and T. Also certain dipnictides with X standing for P, as in SB etc. are known to adopt the pyrite structure. In the first bonding sphere, the Fe atoms are surrounded by six S nearest neighbors, in a distorted octahedral arrangement. The material is a diamagnetic semiconductor and the Fe ions should be considered to be in a low spin divalent state, as shown by Mossbauer spectroscopy as well as XPS, rather than a tetravalent state as the stoichiometry would suggest. The positions of X ions in the pyrite structure may be derived from the fluorite structure, starting from a hypothetical Fe2 plus S2 structure. Whereas F- ions in calcium fluoride occupy the center positions of the eight subcubes of the cubic unit cell, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, etc., the S- ions in iron 4 sulfide are shifted from these high symmetry positions along axes to reside on U and symmetry equivalent positions. Here, the parameter U should be regarded as a free atomic parameter that takes different values in different pyrite structure compounds iron pyrite iron 4 sulfide, U, S, 0.385. The shift from fluorite U 0.25 to pyrite U equals 0.385 is rather large and creates a SS distance that is clearly a binding one. This is not surprising as in contrast to F- and ion S- is not a closed shell species. It is isoelectronic with a chlorine atom, also undergoing pairing to form Cl2 molecules. Both low-spin Fe2 plus and the disulfide S22 minus modis are closed-shell entities, explaining the diamagnetic and semiconducting properties. The S atoms have bonds with three Fe and one other S atom. The site symmetry at Fe and S positions is accounted for by point symmetry groups C3I and C3, respectively. The missing center of inversion at S lattice sites has important consequences for the crystallographic and physical properties of iron pyrite. These consequences derive from the crystal electric field active at the sulfur lattice site, which causes a polarization of S ions in the pyrite lattice. The polarization can be calculated on the basis of higher order Madeling constants and has to be included in the calculation of the lattice energy by using a generalized Born Haber cycle. This reflects the fact that the covalent bond in the sulfur pair is inadequately accounted for by a strictly ionic treatment. Arsenopyrite has a related structure with heteroatomic as S pairs rather than homoatomic ones. Marcoside also possesses homoatomic anion pairs, but the arrangement of the metal and diatomic anions is different from that of pyrite. Despite its name a chalcopyrite does not contain dianion pairs, but single S2- sulfide anions. Crystal habit Pyrite usually forms cuboid crystals, sometimes forming in close association to form raspberry-shaped masses called framboids. However, under certain circumstances, it can form anastomosing filaments or T-shaped crystals. 
Pyrite can also form almost perfect dodecahedral shapes known as pyritohedra and this suggests an explanation for the artificial geometrical models found in Europe as early as the 5th century BC. Varieties Catirite and basite are similar in their structure and belong also to the pyrite group. Brevoit is a nickel-cobalt bearing variety of pyrite, with greater than 50% substitution of Ni2 plus for Fe2 plus within pyrite. Brevoit is not a formally recognized mineral, and is named after Peruvian scientist Jose J. Bravo, 1874-1928. Distinguishing similar minerals It is distinguishable from native gold by its hardness, brittleness and crystal form. Natural gold tends to be anhedral, irregularly shaped, whereas pyrite comes as either cubes or multifaceted crystals. Pyrite can often be distinguished by the striations which, in many cases, can be seen on its surface. Chalcopyrite is brighter yellow with a greenish hue when wet and is softer 3.5 to 4 on Moss scale. Arsenopyrite is silver white and does not become more yellow when wet. Hazards Iron pyrite is unstable at Earth's surface, iron pyrite exposed to air and water decomposes into iron oxides and sulfate. This process is hastened by the action of Acidithiobacillus bacteria which oxidize the pyrite to produce ferrous iron and sulfate. These reactions occur more rapidly when the pyrite is in fine crystals and dust, which is the form it takes in most mining operations. Acid drainage Sulfate released from decomposing pyrite combines with water, producing sulfuric acid, leading to acid rock drainage. An example of acid rock drainage caused by pyrite is the 2015 Gold King Mine waste water spill. Dust explosions Pyrite oxidation is sufficiently exothermic that underground coal mines in high sulfur coal seams have occasionally had serious problems with spontaneous combustion in the mined out areas of the mine. The solution is to hermetically seal the mined out areas to exclude oxygen. In modern coal mines, limestone dust is sprayed onto the exposed coal surfaces to reduce the hazard of dust explosions. This has the secondary benefit of neutralizing the acid released by pyrite oxidation and therefore slowing the oxidation cycle described above, thus reducing the likelihood of spontaneous combustion. In the long term, however, oxidation continues, and the hydrated sulfates formed may exert crystallization pressure that can expand cracks in the rock and lead eventually to roof fall. Weakened building materials Building stone containing pyrite tends to stain brown as the pyrite oxidizes. This problem appears to be significantly worse if any marcasite is present. The presence of pyrite in the aggregate used to make concrete can lead to severe deterioration as the pyrite oxidizes. In early 2009, problems with Chinese drywall imported into the United States after Hurricane Katrina were attributed to oxidation of pyrite, which releases hydrogen sulfide gas. These problems included a foul odor and corrosion of copper wiring. In the United States, in Canada, and more recently in Ireland, where it was used as underfloor infill, pyrite contamination has caused major structural damage. Modern tests for aggregate materials certify such materials as free of pyrite. Pyritized fossils Pyrite and marcasite commonly occur as replacement pseudomorphs after fossils in black shale and other sedimentary rocks formed under reducing environmental conditions. However, pyrite dollars or pyrite suns which have an appearance similar to sand dollars are pseudofossils and lack the pentagonal symmetry of the animal. Images References Further reading American Geological Institute, 2003, Dictionary of Mining, Mineral, and Related Terms, 2nd ed., Springer, New York, ISBN 978-3-540-01271-9 David Rickard, Pyrite, A Natural History of Fool's Gold, Oxford, New York, 2015, ISBN 978-0-19-020367-2 
External links Educational article about the famous pyrite crystals from the Navajan mine How minerals form and change. Pyrite oxidation under room conditions. Polyakov, Martin, 2009. Fool's Gold. The Periodic Table of Videos. University of Nottingham.